from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Okay, so anyone who watches the Backyard Tech channel probably somewhere through their lives has come across various ways of printing things. We've got home printers, we've got office printers, we've got DCPs, we've got digital offset presses, we've got screen printing, we've got offset printing machines, and we've got web printing machines, which is what newspapers are printed on. My father was well known for screen printing. When we had the uh, business in Geelong, we had two offset printing machines and five digital colour print machines. Now offset machines can either be really small, maybe one or two heads, all the way up to maybe even five or ten heads. Then you end up with web print, web presses, which are what newspapers are printed on. Well, for Parliament over in Dublin, in Ireland, Irish eyes are not smiling after bureaucrats over there made a monumental mistake. It's bizarre news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Irish, Irish eyes aren't smiling after government blows one million euro on a mega printer too big for Parliament's doors. From Backyard Tech, this is Bizarre News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Bizarre News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for TBIM and it's not often you come across a bizarre news story from the register, but look, I've worked on offset machines at the control level. Our family business had two of them, um, which were two color machines. Um, I've seen Heidelbergs, I've seen this manufacturer, I've seen Ryobi's. Um, there's heaps of them, you've got web machines as well, which are massive offset machines. You've got lithographs, which are high speed, you know, 130, 140,000 RPH. You know, they, they, they fly. Well, it works out to be, I think, about 60 miles an hour. 100 k's an hour they can run at. So they're, they're not, you know, some machines are rapid. But after reading this article, I had to giggle because this just shows you how stupid some bureaucrat and officials can be and why you have to measure your printer to make sure it fits in your building. Let's get into this one. Irish eyes aren't smiling after government blows one million euro on mega printer too big for Parliament's doors. Never complain about in installing a printer again. The Irish government is under fire for recklessly splashing 808,000 euro on a gigantic printer that couldn't even fit through its doors. Officials were forced to spend a further 230,000 euro, knocking holes in and taking door frames off the Parliament's historic Leinster House in Dublin, or Leinster House in Dublin, to create enough room for the monstrosity to enter the building. For the 10 months that took, for the 10 months that took, I think that it took, I think that's supposed to be it took. The Comorie printer, now I've seen these printers, all right, I've seen these offset machines, they are huge. Had to be stored in a nearby industrial complex, first for free by Comorie's Irish reps, and then an additional cost of 2,000 euro a month. The complete ordeal spanning December last year to September cost a whopping total of 1,044,000 euro. That's 894,000 euro or 1.15 million US just to buy and install the bloody printer. The Irish government could have avoided the embarrassment if they hadn't ballsed up the original measurements. Officials failed to ensure there was at least 3.1 metres of height clearance to get the thing in, according to the Irish Times. In reality, there just wasn't enough space. The state-of-the-art printer is described in the press reports as being 2.1 metres high and 1.1 metres wide. 
They are massive machines. I've seen these things. So either there's confusion over the measurements or you need more than three meters to negotiate it in. By the time the government realized its mistake, it was too late to return the printer as the contracts had already been signed. So instead, officials had to, quote, tear down the walls and the embedded steel structure, close quote, to fit the contraption, according to RTE on Tuesday. But that's not the only havoc the printer has caused. Some employees are refusing to be trained on how to use the machine, sticking a metaphorical middle finger to the government in a bid to negotiate a pay rise for, the, for using the new equipment. What's more, the IT department is hesitant to grant access to the printer, making it difficult to print documents for the official government computers, from official government computers. The kerfuffle has kickstarted an investigation into Parliament's finances too. Taxpayers are obviously not too happy that their cash is being squandered on an expensive printer. Peter Finnegan, clerk of Dale Iron, the Parliament's lower house, has launched a fast-tracked inquiry. The probe, quote, will deal with the full costs associated with the procurement together with other relevant issues, close quote, Finnegan said in a letter to the Chamber's Public Accounts Committee. Now, let me just bring up a photo of one of these printers. Okay, so this is one of their printers. All right. Now, this isn't the one I've seen. The one I've seen looks a bit like this, but it's a basically it's a math lithograph. All right. It's a five head offset machine. Now, I don't know whether this is a digital offset or whether it's a ink offset. But that's how big they are. They are massive machines. And here you have the Irish Parliament bureaucrats making a massive mistake. So basically, they've had to completely trash the building in order to get one of these damn things in. Now, you can see here, so it's a five color system by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah it's a Litherone 28. So I, this is not the one I saw at um, the last time I went to the business print uh, expo in Melbourne some years ago where Heidelberg were out, Comorie were out, Ryobi was out, uh, HPE Digital were out, obviously Fuji Xerox. Um, uh, um, who else was in there? Uh, Osei was in there, Canon, Minolta, all of them. Yeah, you know, all the big print companies were there. Um, these can be computer controlled. Um, but you know, if this is the one that I think this is the one where you've got to do the film, not only do you have to have the printer, you've got to have room for the plate maker. Now I know with our Ryobi, uh, at work, the plate maker ran on, um, HVDSC SCSI off an old, um, compact machine, which had to run inside a VLAN because, yeah, that's a complicated story, which we've spoken about many times in the past. Um, I had to basically VLAN it because, you know, it was Windows 2000, uh, Windows XP, sorry. And um, our systems at work wouldn't let XP out. So I had to VLAN it so it could get out and the other machines could get to it. But these are huge printers. Now, I've seen these things. I, not only have I seen them, I've seen them in action. You're talking about, you know, speeds in some of the machines up to 60, 70,000 RPH. That's quick. Now, for those who don't know what RPH is, it's not revs per hour. It's repetitions per hour. I know it, so we all know it. Undoubtedly, everyone knows it. Um, so, but Comary, or Comary, however you want to pronounce it, the, the machines are massive and it's 
it's well known that if you get one of these machines, you need more than three meters in any direction in some cases to fit the damn things in. Now, some of them come in sections, some of them come on the back of a 40 foot truck. So there we go. A little bit of a, uh, little bit of a stuff up especially when you blow over 1.15 million US dollars. But it's not bad, 808,000 euros. So it's probably one of the more expensive ones. I know in some cases, some offset machines, like a web print machine, which is what newspapers are on, can be in the billions of dollars. So, and not only that, it would cost, they're not cheap to run. I mean, they're, th well, they are three-phase powered, they're 480 VAC or 505 VAC, but they're not cheap. So the Irish government has made a, I guess, just, just the small stuff up. But there you go, there's a bizarre one for you, and it's not often you get one of them out of the register. Irish eyes aren't smiling after government blows one million euro on a mega printer too big for Parliament's doors. <laughs>